Hello, I'm Andrew Malloy, the Automation Wizard, and I've begun investigating how to collaborate in Obsidian. So uh, I'm going to show you how I've set up for Google Drive. Now, this is definitely far from perfect, but it at least isn't an option. And um, there are some issues in simply just the way I'm testing, because I'm testing between two different Google accounts on the same computer, and I'm using mounted drives for that so the syncing is a bit off and I found I've had to like reload the vaults to actually see the changes um, so maybe in real situation with two different people and different accounts different computers maybe the syncing will work a bit better uh, one thing to note with Google syncing is that it can very easily cause conflicts and therefore generates new files with the same name uh, so uh, take it with a pinch of salt in terms of how this actually works uh, but um, this is basically how uh, I could do it as far as I can tell uh, using Google so uh, this is at least a good starting point for anyone to, who wants to actually collaborate using Obsidian and of course there's a vari variation on these themes as well uh, in terms of whether both people use Obsidian or just one person main thing with it just being text files marked down is that one person may be using Obsidian, but doesn't necessarily mean the other person has to. They just need something that can edit text files. So basically, I've got two vaults open here. Um, this is my G vault, which is my normal Google uh, account. And I've called this one other vault, which is actually created in uh, my G Suite account. So two different Google accounts. Uh, here uh, represented by the two different vaults and I've already created a folder and what I've done is you can see I created a, sh a folder called shared obsidian here uh, so this is basically the process that I think you'd have to go through is uh, create a folder on one of the accounts and then um, in your actual Google account um, or on your computer uh, using the Google uh, backup uh, client is uh, you then uh, select the folder that you've decided you want to uh, share. Uh, presumably this would work with uh, individual files as well, um, but uh, it can make sense to me that you'd kind of organize it in a general shared folder uh, so you know exactly what's private and what's shared within Obsidian. Uh, that was my thinking on it. So then you just share in the typical way. Um, so share that folder. And then just add people to the account. And if you're wanting to collaborate, then clearly you actually want that other account to have editing rights. Um, I guess if you want something just read only, so this is an alternative to actually um, publishing. Uh, so it's, it's a way of sharing while keeping it private. Um, so it's only shared with one person. They just in a read-only uh, view, then of course you can just set that to be viewer. Um, and that's basically it. And then on the other side, the person receiving it, they'll have the shared folder in the shared with me section. But if you want it within their Obsidian vault, then they'll have to drag it to make a shortcut, basically, um, to the shared folder. And that's basically what I've done here. And uh, as you can see, that works well. So this is effectively a synced folder between uh, two different Google accounts. Um, I've added a couple of notes to experiment with. Uh, these all basically shared notes. Uh, as I said, the syncing is not quite there. It's not exactly real time. Um, this, you'll see there's a difference here because this came back because of a syncing conflict. This is not technically the same. Uh, so I may have to actually reopen this one. Uh, but we'll try adding another note first to see how it goes. So. Uh, collaborator here. Um, so this is the other thing is that not only may they there may be conflicts, but 
the conflicts will arise because you kind of have to wait for it to definitely sync up and then for the other person to uh, receive that sync. And I think a large part of the issue is going to come from whether both people have the file open at the same time. Um, and that's and what I, I found was that sometimes just switching out to another file that's not shared and then coming back uh, will help with that. Uh, and then, uh, but it depends on the real world situation that you actually want. And a large part of this may just be the way that I'm testing this with using these mounted drives that aren't quite kept in sync and it works in a bit of a different way from the usual Google um, backup uh, client. Um, so I'm going to try at least adding a new note here. So let's try a new note. Um, client, why not? Uh, client notes. And then I'm just going to drag this into the shared folder. And then what I'm actually going to do is close out this vault make sure that my mounted drive is syncing it properly and then reopen it. Uh, Gvault. And then I'm going to close out my other vault and hopefully see it sync. Uh, like I said, this is kind of very much a bit patchy in terms of how it works. But hopefully it should work in principle if it's synced properly. Okay, great. So there we have the same notes. So this is actually uh, a mounted drive to a different Google account. So they've got that. Uh, so I'm going to call it server response. So that's effectively appending to the same uh, notes uh, and I'm, again I'm going to close this out just to make sure it actually really does sync um, and not cause any conflicts and I'll also close out my original vault and then reopen it so it kind of rescans. Uh, like I said it's it's also probably a combination of Obsidian working over a mounted drive that's probably not working quite as well. And there we have the actual uh, response from the other vault. But again, so like I said, the syncing is not great, but this uh, it may be a combination of things that, of the way I'm actually testing this as well. Um, but you can see in principle uh, you can actually collaborate. Uh, this isn't isn't just um, two different vaults talking to each other, but this is actually across two different Google accounts uh, and uh, yeah, completely separate accounts. Uh, I'm just testing it through completely different mounted drives. Uh, so this is effectively like different computers, uh, but also with the complexity of how I'm doing it, it may be causing few issues that aren't going to be as bad in real life. But, uh, but that's basically how you can actually collaborate uh, using Obsidian and Google Drive. Uh, there are other um, possibilities I see with this. Like I said, maybe it's just you using Obsidian. You don't necessarily have to um, have the other person use Obsidian as well. Uh, it's just, like I said, it's just text uh, files. And if you're the person who's receiving a shared file or folder, um, Using uh, shortcuts in Google Drive, you can actually just drop those straight into you, your Obsidian vault, vault. And uh, like I said, if you just make a top level shared folder, so you know that that's something that uh, can change and is shared with other people versus all your other notes that uh, you may want to keep private. So you can actually have a separation of private and, and shared uh, with Obsidian. Uh, I will be investigating other alternatives. I'm going to see how Dropbox fares compared to this, but uh, uh, you can basically get the idea if there's a kind of sharing option in any third-party cloud service, then 
you should be able to work that into uh, your Obsidian vaults. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to get notifications of new videos.